This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Reflection on the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C. Luke 10, 1-12, 17-20 Beware of pride. The 72 disciples came back from the mission rejoicing. Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Luke 10, 17-20 Jesus is happy with the missionary work of the disciples, but He gives them a stern warning against pride. I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. The success in their mission is actually God's action. They are just commissioned to accomplish it. The disciples should be grateful for being able to take part in God's mission and rejoice that their names are written in heaven. It is always joyful to serve the Lord, but we should accomplish our mission with humility. The praises and gratification that we receive in our ministry sometimes have a corrupting influence, making us feel great and superior. The book of Proverbs declared, Pride goes before a fall. To keep us humble all the time while serving the Lord, first, pray before you do your mission. Ask the Lord to use you with the goal to promote the gospel. Jesus must increase, I must decrease. Second, look for a lowly place. If you want to sit at head table or be recognized for your contribution or serve because of the publicity, definitely it's pride. It is not by our own merit that we are made qualified and fit to share in Christ's ministry, but by the grace of God. Leo Tolstoy told the story about a bishop who was traveling when he heard about (coughs) the three hermits in the island. He asked the captain of the ship to go there. Upon arrival, he saw the three old men living in simplicity and prayer. He asked what he can do to teach them something about the Lord. The men said little. They only have one prayer. Three are ye, three are we. Have mercy upon us. While happy to hear that they knew the Trinity, the bishop taught them how to pray the right way and got them to memorize the Lord's Prayer. So all day long he would say the words, the men would try to memorize and repeat them. Finally, they got it and the bishop was satisfied. The bishop left And as he rode back to the main ship, he heard them praying the Lord's Prayer in unison. He was so pleased that he could share his great knowledge with these simple servants, and he thanked God for the chance to have enlightened the island dwellers. Aboard the ship, the bishop noticed something white and shining traveling towards the boat. And in the great white light, he suddenly saw the three hermits running across the surface of the water like it was a land. The bishop was shaken to the core. As the hermits neared the ship, the holy old one said in one single voice, We have forgotten your teaching, servant of God. The bishop, realizing with gravity what had happened, simply told them that their own original prayer will truly reach the Lord. Understanding that he, the great bishop, could not 
teach this man he simply asked them to pray for us sinners remember we are only god's instrument let the glory be to him